month of July 13th. Let's do it. All right, guys. So, welcome to another video. If you could not tell, long for a season is officially over. But today is not about a review of the season, even though I wish it could be, but it's about something, in my opinion, better. I highly request the topic, which fins are better? Long fins or short fins for swimming? Let's see which one's better. Okay, so we're gonna start off today's review using these long fins, which are funny enough, made by fins. Uh, these are probably the most popular fins in all of America, if not the world, I don't know, it's like in other places, but every single little kid that you'll see that are starting to do more or less competitive swimming, they are using these fins. They're almost as popular as like these Speedo goggles. I keep forgetting what they're named, but everybody at one point in their swimming career has got to have used these goggles and or these fins. So we're going to base the fin review off of three criteria. One, what kind of technique you need to use on strokes. Number two, how good are they for underwater work? Number three, how comfortable are they? All right guys, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, so that is a wrap with the long fins. Not, they're not that bad. You'll get my official in-depth review upstairs. But now we're gonna move on to the fins that I use in practice. These are the short fins, specifically the Arena brand. I don't know how it's like for Speedo or for Tier or any other swimming equipment manufacturing company, but I think it's all the same. And one thing that I already see that uh, I think is a big up step from the long fins is that these long fins, they have left foot, right foot. Don't look at my shoe size, I know I have small feet. Anyway, <laughs> but they show which foot to go on, while the long fins, they don't show anything. They, it's just your best guess is as good as mine. All right guys, so now that we're done with the long fins, let's get to the short ones. <laughs> Alright guys, now that we're done with testing out the fins, let's go upstairs and check out my official final review. Let's do it. Alright guys, now that I have swam in the fins, it's time for us to get into the in-depth review of each fin. Let's do it. Okay, so to start things off, we have the first out of the three criteria, and that is fin technique. So, for fins in general, there's no specific fin technique for each kind of fin. 
it's an over-encompassing technique for each stroke for any kind of thing. So to start things off, we have butterfly. Butterfly, normal dolphin kick. Nothing special there. Backstroke and freestyle, you also don't change anything there. It's just normal freestyle kick. Then, on breaststroke, you change it up a bit. Since the fins don't allow you to make your feet as flexible as they would be without fins doing breaststroke kick, you usually do a dolphin kick to give your body a similar momentum push as you would have you know, with a breaststroke kick. Okay, second criteria is how do they work when it comes to underwaters? So, let's start off with the long fins. Long fins are good for long underwaters, but they're not gonna give you this bursts of speed that you will need to do fast underwater, right? They, I will have to say also, are pretty difficult to keep on when it comes to pushing off the walls, especially off of a flip turn, because they land flat, and because of the large surface area, when you push off, it almost like creates a suction off the wall, and your fins sometimes fall off. However, when it comes to the short fins, they get you to top speed way faster and they help you really work on those faster underwaters. And due to them being smaller than the long fins, you can push off way more comfortably, if you want to call it like that, off the walls when it when flip turns because of the smaller surface area and the fact that they're actually more tighter on the feet than the long fins. So these are definitely better when it comes to bursts of speed underwater. Okay, the final and third criteria that we're gonna look at is how do they feel? So, to continue in the order, long fins. I have not worn these fins in, I'd say, a good six months, so essentially these fins that I wore today were like a first take, like my first time wearing them. And I've gotta say, I did not like them. They put a lot of restraint on the top part of your feet. They're very tight up there, like I mentioned before, very difficult to push off of walls well without them falling off. As a matter of fact, I wore these fins, if you saw in videos when I was in high school, I wore these fins, and whenever we would work on fast waters, I'd push off so hard that, to be honest, they actually just fell off the feet. So, I would however say that these fins are really good for beginner swimmers and distance swimmers, because these fins don't take too much of a toll on you when it comes to longer kick sets. So if you're a distance swimmer and you're focusing on your kick or you're a beginning swimmer, these long fins are the way to go. Now, to move on to the short fins. These short fins are definitely for way more experienced, more competitive swimmers. They are heavier, so if you don't like the feel of weight on your feet, that's on you. So these fins might not be for you. But, these fins will get you to top speed way faster. It feels way more awesome, but just like from the feel side of things. They feel way faster, way more fun to swim in, and I do also like the fact that they show what foot is right and what foot is left, while on the long fins, it's just your guess is as good as mine. So, another thing I'd like to add is that these fins are relatively very sturdy when it comes to pushing off the wall and you're not going to lose them when it comes to swimming fins. Now that we're done with the review, I hope you guys learned something about fins, figured out which fins are best for you, whether they're long fins or short fins, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram at Edixons, and I'll see you in the next one.